Hey, greetings everyone, it's Chris here. I'm gonna do another f prepper food challenge. Oh, come on little buddy. Oh, I got Maximus with me. Uh, so we're gonna do another food prepper taste challenge. Today we've got Mountain House beef stew. It's It's been in my food supplies for probably coming up on a decade. It looks like the expiration date's not too old though. I think it's coming up on five years. And I've always been, my mind was boggled by how Mountain House free dries food could really have an expiration date. <clears throat> um, yeah, and I still ponder that. Not not a lot, but um, I have quite a lot of this particular food, the Mountain House food. It's in a bag. So we're going to take a look at the bag, look at the ingredients, look at the nutritional values, open it up, follow the instructions, and see how it tastes. So we're five years past its best. It's either a sell-by or a use-by date on their bag. But we'll, we'll check it out, see if it's still good. Um, like I said, I got quite a lot of this, so I'm going to be sitting on it for quite a while. So I am curious to see how it turns out uh, today, and, and I think it'll be fine. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Let's see what this looks like. This is the bag. So what does it say here? It's an uh, entree that serves four. It's beef stew. Uh, a little over eight ounces. Zero trans fats. That's great. And uh, of course, it's a delicious meals anytime, anywhere. So today we're going to eat it in my house. Normally you'd take this out camping with you, I think. It's freeze dried. Let's look for that best use by date. Uh, somewhere on here. Okay, so here they say that the best use by August of 2015. So we're coming up on five years over uh, past that. That's okay. Let's look at the nutritional value. So here it looks like it's uh, there's five servings per container. Each serving is about a cup and a quarter. 200 calories per serving. 70 fat calories. That's I don't know. That seems like a good bit of fat. No trans fat, of course. That's good. A little bit of cholesterol. A lot of sodium. All right. So we have 41% of your daily sodium intake is going to come from one serving, and this has five servings so yeah, I could see a person coming off a, ha a hike <laughs> eating this whole thing because you'd be hungry and you would get 200% uh, of your daily sodium so don't want to eat too much of this stuff carbs does have some sugars in it it's got some protein as well looks like 25% of your vitamin C would be met 70% of your vitamin A some calcium and 10% of your iron so yeah, it looks like this isn't going to be too bad All right We'll see how it tastes. Ingredients include potatoes, cooked beef, carrots, peas, corn, oil, modified cornstarch, of course. Let's see, brewer's yeast, wheat gluten, soy protein, dehydrated onion, salt, sugars, spice, soybeans, garlic powder, and spice extract. It does contain wheat and soy. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Um, so the, the, the process is pretty basic here. We open the package, remove the oxygen absorber, carefully add some boiling water so you do want to be careful with boiling water stir thoroughly and close the zipper let stand for eight to nine minutes and then serve all right I think we can do all that so let's uh we'll open this up see what it looks like in its uncooked form hey buddy so if we're looking at the bag we just opened it up let's see what it looks like in its that's its uncooked state, so a lot of freeze-dried vegetables, meat, and uh, other seasonings. All right, so we'll put some, put some boiling water in here, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and run it through a taste test. All right, well, it's cooked. I've let it sit, boiling hot water for more than 10 minutes. That's what it looks like. Uh, and I'm not... Yeah, it's not making me hungry looking at it. I'm going to put it into a bowl. Maybe it'll be a little more appealing uh, when it's in a bowl and I can look at it a little differently. But uh, it smells okay. Yeah, let's put it in a bowl and see what it looks like. Well, here's the final product. We uh, let it sit in the bag. I did, yeah, so the rookie move on Mountain House. You really do need to mix it up, stir up the ingredients. Uh, before you let it sit for 10 minutes so uh, I found out that it, it clumped up a little bit I had to re-stir it um, and then let it sit for a little bit longer so yeah note 
uh, make sure you stir it up good before you seal it up for that 10 minute sit period. Anyway, it looks okay, All right? It's uh, this is Mountain House beef stew. It's funny, I did I did do the Denny Moore beef stew, and I kind of think I prefer the Denny Moore, but it looks okay. It's got carrots and peas, which the Denny Moore didn't have. Uh, we'll we'll take it for a taste test. It smells okay. It smells you know it smells good. So let's see what this tastes like. Well, here it is. I'm gonna stir it up a little more. I'm kind of curious to look at it. It's uh, so what I can say, um, the, the the all the all the pieces are uniform in size. So the potatoes, the carrots, and the chunks of beef are all about the same size. The peas are the peas. Uh, it's got a little bit of gravy to it. Um, yeah, I'm. This doesn't look particularly appealing to me, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and take it for. I'll taste it out. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's certainly not going to make me sick. I'm sure the, the nutritional quality is whatever it is minus, you know, I don't, I don't know how the nutritional value of these things degrade over time, but the calories are going to be here. Um, it tastes fine. Yep. Yep. It doesn't taste too salty. Has a fair amount of salt in it. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm not a huge fan of Mountain House. If I'm just being honest, um, primary reason I bought so much of it is because it does hold a long time. So when you buy when you buy Mountain House, you can look and the best you buy it is years beyond what you'll find on uh, canned goods for the comparable time you're shopping. So if canned good will have a two year use period. Mountain House will have a five or Seven year use period so you know that's primarily why I loaded up and here we are years and years after the best use by date even for the mountain house and it's held up well so I wouldn't have any problem using this you know what I should probably do is um, put it into the rotation for camping right and just start to cycle some of this stuff out and but what my wife does like to cook when we when we go camping she gets the whole she gets you know pots and pans going out over a fire so the idea of just pouring hot water into bags may not make her super excited but uh, but it's held up well. You know, notice I'm not eating. I'll, I'll take another bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not my favorite, but this would do in a pinch. Again, this is emergency supply, so this is, you know, I'm not uh, ordering DoorDash. I'm trying to keep my family fed or keep my friends and neighbors fed, and this would absolutely work. So, yeah, a little, little bit after it's used by date, five years or so, coming up on it. Perfectly good. I'll be keeping this for a, a lot, and I'll keep it forever. Um, and at some point, yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll continue to do these tests just to test it out. And uh, But I think the end result for this is it gets a thumbs up. It's, it's held its flavor well. doesn't taste bad. cooks just right. Make sure you avoid the rookie move. Stir it up before you let it sit for that 10-minute period. Uh, but other than that, I think you'd be just fine. So uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some use out of it. As always, take care, and we'll see you next time.